So I use a system that allows people to learn unconsciously. Mm -hmm. And what I mean by that is I teach on multiple levels of communication. It's quite a unique teaching style. On one level, there'll be the slides up on the screen and I'll be talking to people and they'll be making notes, I'll have a manual, we have question and answer time, just like any other standard training. But at a deeper level, I use the techniques that I teach in the actual teaching of them. So I'll be using neuro-linguistics and powerful languaging techniques, including mm -hmm. conversational hypnosis, mm -hmm. to guide the attendees into a very light trance state so that they, they take the information in unconsciously without the need to even consciously pay attention. Mm -hmm. So I often joke that even if you were to just turn up and then go to sleep, you'd still leave with the skills mm -hmm. because you're taking it all in unconsciously. Um, so that's the, the main thing that really sets us apart from any other sales training. Mm -hmm. and, and that implies to me that there's a fair bit of responsibility in your hands Absolutely. If, if you are having people in a trance-like state and there's a degree of ethics involved. Definitely. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The Same interesting thing about that? The interesting thing about um, trance states is that um, people choose to go into them. Mm -hmm. I mean, we go into them, in and out of them all day. Like if, you, if you've ever driven from one place to another place and by the time you get to your destination you thought, how the hell did I get here? Your mind was off somewhere. You're actually in a very light trance state. Mm -hmm. So um, trance is not what you see in the movies where it's you are getting sleepy on a couch. It's just an altered state of consciousness. Mm -hmm. And we go into these states of consciousness, consciousness any time that you watch a movie or listen to a piece mm -hmm. of music or a smell takes you back to childhood. Mm -hmm. So it's really just evoking those responses in people so that both sides of the brain are working together and they learn more effectively. Mm -hmm. Now the responsibility on my part is to ensure that anything I'm delivering when someone's in that state is for their highest positive good. And that's why when I teach these techniques, it's all about how to respect um, people and um, how to understand them and their, their situation at the time instead of being focused on your agenda and I just want to sell, sell, sell. So even though we're talking about sales, um, I don't use old traditional kind of old school phrases like close the sale because mm -hmm. I think that's ridiculous. You can't actually close anybody. It's all about giving them an invitation to begin a relationship with you. Mm. Closing says we've got a sales process and at the end it's finished. Mm. And what I think is that sure we have a sales process but at the end that's when the decision's made as to whether or not we're going to continue with the relationship. Mm. And that's what it needs to be about. Fantastic.